Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Behind CG. I just want to take a second to say a huge thank you. We just hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. And I seriously want to thank each and everyone for your support. It means a lot to me. And this is just the beginning. Now come to the video topic. If you have ever seen a clean eye-catching product render and wondered how did they get the lighting just right, you are in the right place. In this video, I am going to break down the entire lighting setup I used to create these three render setups. This is perfect if you are working on product renders and want to a professional high-end result without spending hours. So open up Blender, follow along and let's build this entire scene together step by step. So guys, here we are inside Blender. Uh, this is the first scene as you can see, scene 1. I will uh, start the breakdown of this scene. Uh, first of all, I will disable all the lightings I used in this scene. And uh, I will start from the HDRI I used. As you can see, I used this HDRI and uh, I made uh, uh, some changes like the color and the uh, uh, contrast of the HDRI so go to the world uh, scene setup uh, you can see this is the HDRI brown photo shoot I downloaded this from Polyheaven I will put the link in the description for this website where uh, you can download uh, free HDRIs and uh, I use this uh, here in saturation node uh, to make the saturation zero uh, as you can see this is the default and I just uh, make the values to zero to make a, a black and white uh, HDRI and uh, I uh, use this uh, bright and contrast node and uh, made the contrast value uh, so this was the uh, HDRI and uh, yes uh, here you can see the strength value I just uh, made this 0.4 uh, you can uh, change this value uh, according to your uh, need I just uh, uh, keep it on 0.3 or 0.4 uh, and uh, now I will enable our lighting. Uh, the first of all, uh, this is the floor, as uh, you can see, uh, where we uh, get uh, reflections. Uh, this is the material setup for this. Uh, you can see the floor. This is a simple uh, principle build. You know, the metallic value is one. The roughness is 0.2 or maybe 0.25. And uh, this is the uh, color of this uh, floor. I just uh, keep the color of this load to white and uh, increase the value to 1.5. Uh, this uh, helped me to make this uh, uh, to make this floor more white. And now I will enable the first light, uh, which is the back light, as you can see, which uh, make the background um, white. I keep the value for this 10 because this give me a pure white uh, background result as you can see the value of the color. Uh, so this is the backlight and uh, now I will enable the first light uh, as you can see. Let me show you in the material preview. This is the uh, node setup for this light. You can see the emission node, uh, color ramp, RGB curve. Basically this control the uh, uh, strength and values of this uh, gradient you can see you can change the value and this curve according to your need uh, this is the gradient texture which is linear and, uh, and these are the values of course you can change the location uh, also the rotation so this is our first light and uh, you can see uh, if I disable the HDRI uh, and the back light you can see the look for this uh, let me disable this uh, you can see the highlight uh, of this you can change the position and rotation of this uh, but uh, i just keep it because uh, i need uh, this straight line uh, over here to separate uh, the product and the level uh, now i will enable the backlight again and uh, we will go to the second light basically this is the same uh, light uh, i just uh, duplicate uh, the exact same light and in the gradient texture i uh, uh change the uh, i change the type from linear to spherical as you can see and uh this uh this works as a fill light you can of course use a simple uh plan uh, like this let me show you to fill the overall scene as you can see before and after but uh, I use this uh, gradient uh, because I need uh, a soft uh, highlight 
uh, over the over the subject as uh, you can see a soft uh, gradient look over here now again i will uh, keep the values of the hdri to 0.3 so this is the overall um, simple scene setup of our first scene uh, which is a white background render now let's uh, jump to the second scene which is over here uh, you can see uh, i use the same lighting uh, as i use in the white background as you can see uh, the same uh, uh, spherical light and this uh, linear gradient type light so i jump back to the scene too and uh, here you can see the overall setup the camera is uh, from the top position right here if i can show you the camera right here uh, again uh, them settings i kept for this uh, the, the value of the hdri is 0.3 uh, uh, let me just disable both light is the hdri uh, if i can just decrease, decrease the value to 0.1 uh, yeah that's that's enough now let's enable both of the lights one by one and uh, let's see how it affects the overall scene so enable the first light uh, you can see just uh, let me disable the hdri for the moment so we can see the uh, effect of the first light you can see uh, how this light affect the scene and uh, on the product you can see the soft uh, gradient uh, highlights over here and uh, uh, let me uh, tell you about the uh, uh, the background for this scene uh, this is i just created a, a paper type material you can see the the scene setup uh, for this uh, then sorry the node setup for this I just use a noise texture. Uh, let me show you. This is the noise texture. Uh, I just uh, added a, a RGP curve and color ramp to control the strength and the value for the noise. As you can see, we can just control the values. And uh, I just uh, duplicate the same material and apply to this white and change the color to white. And uh, same and uh, same for these two hearts. I just change the color and the material uh, and the node setup is the same as uh, the main paper texture. So this is the first light I just enable now. Uh, we'll just enable the second light for this scene. Uh, you can see uh, for the same uh, spherical gradient type I used for this light. As you can see both sides are now uh, lit. and. Uh, at the end i will just enable the hdri and keep the value to 0.3 you can see how it affects the overall lighting setup so this is the second uh, scene uh, most of the time uh, i mostly use uh, two lights and uh, one hdri to keep the scene as simple as possible now let's uh, jump to the third scene uh, which is the uh, the same again uh, the same uh, gradient linear gradient type the same spherical gradient type i just uh, changed the location and rotation for both and you can see how it affects the overall uh, scene uh, the same for this one i give the hdri 2.3 basically the hdri value is uh, the same for all the three scenes just the changes uh, between these uh, is the scene setup and the uh, lighting position and rotation uh, let me show you i created these three paper type materials uh, you can see and these are the same materials i used uh, for the paper uh, but for this i just enable uh, metallic value uh, to give this a little uh, shiny effect and uh, for this i just uh, mixed uh, two color nodes as you can see this one and on this one you can change the values for this you can see it here and uh, like this so this is the material setup uh, the same uh, noise setup uh, i have shown in the previous render uh, this is the same node setup for all the paper material just i changed the metallic values and uh, the color uh, and uh, mixed two extra color nodes to this uh, i applied the same material to this one and this one but for this one i just disable the metallic values because i do not need this anymore for this 
uh, and for the bump value i just connect the same noise to the bump and uh, control the values with the color ramp just let me disable both of the light and uh, let me show how it affects the overall scene first of all i will enable the light one as you can see and this uh, makes a big highlight uh, on the product on this side and uh, if i again enable the second one this uh, this work is a fill light uh, again if you do not want this you can just create a simple plan and put it over here so this was the overall uh, scene uh, basically these uh, all the three scenes are uh, almost these all three scenes are almost uh, similar in uh, lighting and just this one is a little different because we we added uh, an extra light uh, in the back to create this white background uh, look For the second the same two lighting setup the third one the same two lighting setup this is a very simple scene i created inside blender so guys uh, this was the overall result of the video let me know in the comment section if you have any questions